a lot of people tune mm. into this show, Andy, mainly for your reaction to Chelsea results. Yes. Um, um, how do you feel about Graham Potter's first game in charge? Well, I'm tempted to say meet the new boss, same as the old boss, but <laughs> I think there were some good signs. Um, yeah, uh, Mount, I thought, put in a lot better shift than he'd been putting in, but he's he's soon going to... It's a big job, this, for him. There's yeah. no question. He's got to do... I think it's a bit like Arteta when he came in. He's got to sort this squad out because, for me, this is the worst Chelsea squad for 20 years. There's no really? question. Really? 20 years? Yeah, where's the Czechs, the Drogbas, the Terrys, the Lampards? You know, these sort of okay, players. Yeah. There's not that sort of spine of the team. And, you know, you've got players like Havertz. How many managers will Kai Havertz cost their job in his career? Because he's one of those players that you look at him and think, what a fantastic player this bloke is. Yeah. You pick him and he's hopeless. I mean, th that the other night was absolutely typical Havertz. He starts off with a couple of nice touches. Then one goes wrong, confidence completely drops, and then yeah. for the rest of the game he's either hiding or not doing anything, and, you think, and then he gets taken off. Well, someone like Graham Potter, they always say, is a great man manager. You know, maybe yeah. he's, the, he's the manager to, to get the best out of him and it stay the best by giving him that confidence. And I've written down here... Abamyang now knows how Lukaku feels <laughs> playing for a team that doesn't create any chances, but it's not actually true. I mean, that, but that game the other night, there were some good signs. There were, and uh, and you've got to give the guy. It's going to take him time, but yeah, I've seen that game about fifteen times in the last eighteen months, say twelve to eighteen months, where at the bridge where Chelsea drop a lot of points, and, yeah. it, and it's always the same game. It's it's get the lead, then sit back, then the other team. Uh, can, you can see the other team score, and then you create five or six fantastic chances, which you don't take, yeah. and it finishes 1 1. The number of 1 1s they've been. And it was just the same. And so, you know, you, you think to yourself, really, he's going to discover quite quickly which of these squad he can trust. I was a bit, some of this, the selection was a bit odd, I thought. I did think, couldn't really see. I mean, if you play Silva and uh, Thiago. Uh, Thiago Silva rather than Aspilicueta together yeah. in a Premier League game, you will lose that match, in my view. So, you know, there we go. But it was... Uh, uh, and was that reaction shared by all... You were there, weren't you? You were there. On, no, no, I couldn't uh, make it. Oh, I'm, right. I'm going to the uh, Milan game. I, I couldn't work out the website and I failed oh, right. to get tickets, which oh, is right. annoying. But I've got them for the next two Champions League games. But they've got it all to do in that competition. And, you know, if you, you consider that's going to be difficult to qualify, but they can still do it, but they could could fail to qualify. They could be uh, out of the Carabao Cup if they don't beat Man City away, yeah. which is you know quite well, a, quite a difficult game. Yeah. Um, but they are beat, they are drawable. Holland, they could beat them Holland, in pens. Oh yeah, Holland. <laughs> even if he has a night off, you never know. <laughs> they and, might not uh, play him in the Carabao. And in the league, the top four. Well, that's looking a bit tricky. So they won't play Holland. They won't play Holland in the Carabao. Surely. No, I don't think they will. I don't. But you know, against Chelsea, they might. Uh, it was interesting last night. I watched a bit of the West Ham game. I feel a bit for West Ham in this Conference League because. It's probably strong enough to win it, but the, what, all you get is you get back in the Europa League. Yeah. But it's I did a trophy, enjoy, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose it is. I did enjoy uh, Colton Cole, though, uh, calling Craig Dawson. I never realised this was his nickname. Obviously, they called him this in the dress, uh, dressing gown, dressing room. Uh, Ballon Dawson. <laughs> oh, nice. That's clever, isn't it? That's yeah. very good. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. And uh, I was pleased for Ivan Tony. I was very pleased to see him in the team. Yeah. I was advocating it. And uh, they, was, they were highlighting his penalty record today. And it's 18 out of 18, which is fantastic. But you know what's going to happen. <laughs> you absolutely know. You'll get to the World <laughs> Cup. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a massive penalty. Well, I don't know that oh, because he does seem to me. He does seem to me to be. Uh, a very confident oh, very player confident. Very who doesn't seem take. scared by any level, no, you know. I don't think so. But, you know, taking a penalty for England in the World Cup isn't quite the same as taking a penalty for Brentford at any point. But, you yeah. know, we'll see what happens. Because you see him regularly, don't you? Because you, yeah, you, yeah. you have a Brentford season Yeah, I'm going on Sunday to the uh, Arsenal game. That should be good. And is he, is he at different levels to everyone else in, in the team when he, when he No, really he's not different level to everyone, you know, but he's... Uh, he's Definitely good enough to play for England. He's good enough to yeah. be in the squad. It's a good decision. Last night during the commentary, uh, Rob Hawthorne, the commentator, mentioned the Danish team Aarhus. Whenever I hear that name, I can't help going, Aarhus is a very, very fine hoose. <laughs> yes. You have to, yeah. don't you? Or in the middle of our street. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, There's that, that one as well. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. so that's, uh, that's about it. Oh, really. great. Mm. And, and um, with, with, with Chelsea, do, what do you think Potter brings? Different, what, how do you expect him to change the team? Slowly. <laughs> it's difficult, you know. I mean, personally, I, I felt that it was a very strange transfer window because they spent £280 million, but they were worse after the window <laughs> closed than they were before. Yeah. And that's never a good thing. And, you know, players like, you know, whatever you thought of Werner, and I was critical of his finishing, but 
he stretched teams and he and he created stuff. So Werner and Hudson Odoi went out, and they kept Pulisic and Ziyech. I, I would have done exactly the opposite of that. Pulisic is, really? is a legend in his dad's mind and his mind, and yeah. does, hasn't done anything for about two years. And Ziyech, you'd have shipped him out. You know, I don't blame the fans. I mean, they, they were critical of the commentary team about giving him a hard time, and of course, it never helps if you get on a player's back. It doesn't. They're never going to no. play well if you do that. But you can understand why the fans did because they consider he was one of those that cost Tuchel his job. Yeah, you know, and uh, and if Graham Potter keeps picking him, it'll be the same thing because I just. There's a good player there, but not for again, not for a couple of seasons. So ninth, you were you were hoping for, weren't you? You were saying before the before the show, you were thinking about about ninth mid table. <laughs> we'll see. It's a long way to go yet. <laughs> long time to go. There, there, there's been a kind of leveling up in the Premier League. Mm. You know that is amazing. And when you looked at West Ham last night, their bench, they were able to bring off the bench Bowen, uh, Suchek, and yeah. who was the other one, Ben Rama. You know they could never have done that before. No. And when you've got Teams, you know, the first 10, 12 teams in the Premier League are all, apart from City, you know, they all can beat each other. They've yeah. all got great Well, I squads. think that's what Liverpool have found. I don't yeah. think they've strengthened enough, and I think they've been caught yeah. out this season yeah, so it's, far. It's, yeah. it's, it, 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 it looks mental there. But they played, that was a good point for them, The other, a good win for them the other night, which they needed, of course.